Balanced Feedback, The Art of Mixing Praise and Criticism Hello, English language learners from all over the world. Today, we're going to talk about a very important skill, not only for learning languages, but for every aspect of our lives. We're focusing on peer feedback and more specifically, how to balance praise and criticism when giving feedback on storytelling and jokes. Peer feedback is when individuals in a similar situation, in our case language learners, assess each other's work. It's a powerful tool because it allows us to learn from others, share ideas, and improve our skills. But for it to be truly effective, it's crucial to strike a good balance between positive feedback, praise, and constructive criticism. You may wonder, why balance praise and criticism? Well, criticism alone can be demotivating and discouraging. We all like to know what we're doing well. Praise alone, however, might not help us identify areas where we need to improve. Therefore, a mix of praise and constructive criticism creates an optimal learning environment. Let's talk about strategies. Strategy 1. The Sandwich Method. The first strategy is called the Sandwich Method. It involves placing a piece of criticism between two pieces of praise. This way, you start and end with positivity, and the criticism is softened. Strategy 2. Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, Time-Bound, Smart, Feedback. Smart feedback is another effective approach. Make sure your feedback is specific. Pinpoint exactly what needs improvement. It should be measurable, provide an idea of the standards or expectations. Feedback should be achievable, within the realm of what the person can do. It should be relevant, connected to the person's goals. Finally, it should be time-bound. Offer a timeline for when the improvement can be expected. Strategy 3. Encourage self-assessment. Encourage self-assessment. Before giving feedback, ask the person to reflect on their own performance. This way, they are primed to receive feedback and might have already identified some areas of improvement themselves. So, remember, when giving peer feedback, strive to create a balance between praise and constructive criticism. And use strategies such as the sandwich method, smart feedback, and encouraging self-assessment to ensure your feedback is both effective and motivating. We hope this video has been helpful. Keep learning, keep sharing, and keep improving. See you in the next video.